Hey, my name's Nicole and today I'm going to be showing you how to do sublimation on a color changing mug from Heat Transfer Source. I haven't tried one of these yet, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. Um, so I have my image printing and my mug. I went ahead and used this uh, handy tape. I got a uh, tape measure I got from Heat Transfer Source to measure my mug for my, my image. Um, and the measurements are 8.75 by 3.75. Um, so the directions for heat transfer source um, are for a mug press. I'm actually going to be using my con uh, convection oven. Um, I just do all my mugs and tumblers in there. So it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, so I will show you how to do that. But if you do have a mug press, you can also use that. Um, the directions are on heat transfer sources website. Um, so I have a silicone mug clip here. Um, this is going to put the pressure on my mug. Um, instead of when you close the mug press, that's gonna put the pressure on since mine's gonna go in an oven. This is what's going to be keeping the pressure on my image for the mug. Okay, so I got my um, print all printed out for my printer. Um, it's right on here. Uh, so I am going to take my ruler and my rotary cutter and cut it out. You can use scissors too, but I just, you know, feel this makes the, the straightest line. Uh, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'm really excited to see how this turns out on the color changing mug. I've been wanting to try it for a while. So now I'm going to take my coffee cup and I kind of put it around here just to make sure it fits okay. I do leave a little gap for the handle. Um, you do want it to go from the top to bottom here. Um, it definitely your preference on how uh, much of a space you live, leave here. Um, I will say you don't want to get too close to these handles. Um, if you do, the paper is going to actually end up kind of like bending over kind of like this and it'll make kind of like a ghosting image right there. Um, I learned that from experience. So I am going to go ahead and take my heat tape. And tape this on here. You can see the little, the gaps right there. Um, so I want to make sure it's pressed down fully. So I'm going to grab a long piece of tape. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but please subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit that bell. Thanks. So, that's how it looks like when it is done. Um, if I were, <clears throat> excuse me, if I were to use a mug press, I would tape this the same exact way. Um, so, um, instead of the mug press, like I said, I'm gonna use the silicone mug clip. The important thing is that you always put um, a piece of blowout paper, copy paper, butcher paper, um, what have you um, on the outside because the ink is going to bleed through. So this is just an old piece of copy paper um, that I saved. Um, what I do is I place it in here, but if you are using a mug press, make sure you put it around your cup before you put it in your mug press because um, the ink will actually die through um, to your press or your um, silicone uh, wrap here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this in here. Make sure it's nice and tight on there. Um, so I am waiting for my um, oven to heat up. Um, I am going to do 400 degrees um, with 14 minutes. Okay, here we are at my convection oven. Well, first I have um, dials on my oven. Uh, this top one is going to be for the uh, top heat element. Um, this third one is for the bottom heat element. Um, and then I have the settings, which would be uh, convection, rotisserie, and then convection, rotisserie. So I just use um, convection um, and I set my temperatures, but the most important thing is to have a uh, thermometer inside your oven. So I can see that it is, sorry, it's a little hard to see here. Um, it's just over 400 on the bottom. 
Um, it's over 450 on the top. The top is always gonna be a little bit warmer. Um, so I go by the bottom one. I'm sorry, when I place any kind of mug or tumbler in, it typically drops like, I don't know, 30-ish degrees. So I always start it um, a little bit higher than what I want. Um, you can see actually here on my, my dials, um, only say 350 when it's truly over 400 degrees just on the bottom. So it's very important to have a thermometer in your oven. Um, you don't really have to have two. I use two because I do tumblers a lot. So it's important for me to know um, the top temperature also. Um, so what I'm gonna do is place this in the oven carefully. Watch out for the door. So put it in the center there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer. Um, I'm gonna start it for 14 minutes and then come back and show you what it looks like after. Okay, so I took the mug out of the oven and took the mug clip off um, just so it can start cooling down. Um, I was gonna wait for it to fully cool down, but I realized that um, you won't be able to see the image once it's cooled down. Um, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to take it off while the mug is changed colors. Um, I took all but one piece of tape off so we can see together how it turned out. Um, so typically this is a black mug, remember, so um, the whole handle has changed colors in the oven. So I'm gonna take this last piece of tape off. Oh my gosh, and look at that, it's still, pretty warm, so I don't want to touch it, but I'll try and get a good image here for you. How cute is that? I'm actually really excited to see it turn black again. Um, so once it's done cooling down all the way, I'll pop back on here and show you um, exactly what it looks like, and then I will add some uh, warm liquid to it so you can see it changing. Okay, so the mug is cooled down and look at this. It is all black again. You can kind of see the image through just a little bit, um, but it is just so exciting that it is black again. Um, it's like magic. So I have a cup of hot water here that I'm gonna pour in and hopefully not make a mess and we will see what happens. I did warm this up a little bit in the microwave so it could kind of be like hot coffee and look at that. Wow. How cool is that? That is so awesome. Okay, so there are the color changing mugs. If you have not tried this yet, I highly recommend doing this because it is just so exciting. And this is gonna be my favorite coffee cup from now on. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Bye.